They came in just to help people clear, clear trees. And you said you've been to how many hurricanes to help people? This is my 38th storm. And you, you came in from Alabama. Your name is David Lay. Why do you do this? Yeah, it's just, just what we do. It's what, uh, what I was put on earth for. And uh, we like it. We love it. We help people clear the roads, take trees off houses, and just help people that can't help themselves. All volunteer? All volunteer, yes, ma'am. And, and I think what's remarkable is you told us that uh, you went to help people in Hurricane Harvey and you cut yourself while helping someone, got an infection, and lost part of your leg. Yes, ma'am. Yep. That, that's transpired to where I'm at right now. And uh, I got a prosthetic, but one hour, exactly one hour before we got in the truck to come here, it actually broke. So I'm back on one leg doing what we do. Oh, I can't get over it. And what is your name? Mason Holloway. And why do you do this? It's like he said, I was born to do it. I just love helping people. And so y'all y'all have already cleared um, trees from the road, debris from the road. You've also helped people in their in their homes? Yes, ma'am. Well, we started out cutting a uh, shelter free up here that had a bunch of pine trees down. So that was our starting point. And then we worked up this road here, which is probably four or five miles, and we cleared it. Yeah. So. Well, what do y'all do in, in your regular lives when you're not helping people with hurricane what what, what is your job uh, I own a marine construction company and uh, we do a lot of uh, land clearing and tree work so. okay, and that's what you do as well with yes ma'am I'm yeah. professionally a tree service yes ma'am well man well there'll be a lot of business here but you're doing this just to help people well thank y'all very very much for coming our way we really really appreciate it so just some remarkable people that you see here who come when they hear that there's there's you know, a storm and, and destruction. So um, there you have it. Just wanted to show you the more west we go, the more water you see yeah. uh, built up. And Meg, can I ask? Destrahan. Oh, Meg, go ahead. Before you go, yeah. it, it, does it appear that the water is in any of the buildings you were seeing there? You know, Eric, uh, it does not appear that it's in any of the buildings because let me just look real closely. Rick Neese, if you can zoom in, does it seem like the water has gotten in? Those No, it does not. It does not. It seems like when you go up to the Winn-Dixie, it get, goes up a little bit. Okay? All right. All right, Eric, we're going to keep trying to make our way west.